Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be looking at something amazing. It's called Twister OS and it's from Pilab and Friends. Now you may remember Pilab's released two distros, one called iRaspian and the other called Raspbian X. Now the first one, Raspbian X, emulated a Windows-like environment, whilst the second one, iRaspbian, emulated a Mac-like environment. Now these have both since then been discontinued because of copyright issues. Now Pilab and Friends have come up with this new distro called Twister OS, which combines both iRaspbian and Raspbian X. So you can switch between a Windows-like environment and a Mac-like environment by just clicking on this icon here. But more about that later. You can see we've got our familiar Raspbian X environment here. So we've got our trash can, we've got a Chromium Media Edition, so we can watch our Netflix, Amazon Prime and YouTube. We've also got My Android, which can be used to mirror your phone onto the display. And we've also got RetroPie, more about that later. Also we've got Steam Access, so you can play your library of Steam games. And here we've got a readme file from the author PyLabs, and this tells you how to get started and get the best out of the system, and it basically answers any Q&As you might have. Now this is a great little feature and it's called Commander Pi. So this basically lets you overclock your system from the desktop. So we've got processor details, gives us all the processor information. We've also got bootloader information. And there's all your bootloader information. And we've got our network information. And next we've got our overclock button, so we can overclock our system from here. We set our ARM frequency and we set our GPU frequency and then we set our overall voltage. And then we just apply and reboot button. Now moving on to the menu bar, we've got our notification settings, so we can easily click on the do not disturb button, or we can just as easily set our notification settings for each application by simply clicking on the applications tab and clicking on or off. Next thing we've got is our calendar and time, pretty straightforward. Next thing on the menu is volume settings and we've got audio mixer settings. We've got our playback settings and we've got our recording settings and output devices. Next to volume is our Wi-Fi connections and our wired connections. And if you've got any VPN connections. Next we've got our computer settings and I've got my mouse and my keyboard shown here. And we've got the option of going into presentation mode and we've also got power management settings. So we can turn off our system and display after a predetermined time. Next is Bluetooth settings. We can add, remove devices, turn it off and on. And here we've got something like a command center for the CPU. Now from here we can overclock the system. We've got access to frequency and governors, where we can set the CPU to performance or power save mode. And again, all from the desktop. Pretty handy if you ask me. Now along the left side of the bottom menu bar, we've got our shortcuts for notepad, which is always handy to have at hand. Along the bottom, we've also got a shortcut for the command prompt. Then we've got our office applications, LibreOffice Calc, Writer, and lastly, Mail. Now next to that, we have got the internet browser, Chromium. So this is optimized for web browsing, whereas the one on the desktop is optimized for media consumption. Okay, let's fire it up for a quick test run. So we'll have a quick look at the BBC News website. And yeah, it's all pretty good, smooth, quick. Pages load fast. Minimum stutter and fuss strolling down the web page. No issues here. And next on the menu bar is our add and remove software icon. So of course you guys know there's loads of software available for the Raspberry Pi on this system. Just make sure you have an internet connection so you can get the latest software. So it's at this stage I normally do a search for Kodi Media Center. And there you go guys, it comes straight up with a description at the bottom. Now next along the menu bar is the File Explorer. And it comes up pretty quick. And as you can see it's got a Windows-like file structure here. Now next along the menu bar is a Katana-like menu icon. And it performs a similar function in that it searches for files. Okay, so the next thing on the menu is your equivalent of a start menu for Windows. And here, just like Windows, we've got access to all our software and our settings. So you can view all of your items, you can view them by category. And like I said, there's loads to choose from. We've got a bulk rename tool here, Clipman, Commander Pi. And it looks like we've got a menu editor here as well. Okay, moving down, we've got accessories, we've got development, we've got education, we've got games, we've got graphics, internet, multimedia, office, and settings, and system. And along the bottom, we've got some tabs here. We've got settings, we've got lock screen, we've got switch user, we've got power off, and finally log out. Now the great feature for me here is the way we can extend out this menu here. We get to maximize the menu area and view as many icons as possible on one screen. Now next, I'm gonna have a quick look at the Chrome Media Web Browser and see how it performs with video. 
The striking structure features incredibly fast elevators, is home to our planet's highest observation deck, and claims to be the world's most sustainable megatall skyscraper. Now, Netflix and Amazon Prime would work just as well. Just make sure you use this browser. Modern China's most iconic mega projects. Okay, I'm going to take a quick look at some games that are pre-installed on this distro. And the first of these is going to be another Metroid 2 remake. Okay guys, now the other game I'm going to choose is called Counter Strike 2 and it's a desktop version. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Twister OS has got you covered for emulation. We've got RetroPie. Now, I currently haven't got any games to load, but rest assured it does work, and I'll be using it further down the line. Now, we're also covered for Steam Gaming, so we've got the Steam Linux client here. And all you need to do is log in with your account, and you're up with your library. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Twister OS is unique in that it allows you to switch between two looks. So currently, I'm in the Windows look, iRaspian. But if I want to switch to the Mac OS look, which is iRaspian, I just click on this icon and follow the instructions. And it will go ahead and change the theme. Now you will have to reboot to get full access to it. And it will ask you to press enter to reboot. Okay, so we're at our login screen for our Mac OS lookalike, iRaspian. Now the password is again Raspberry. So with this Mac OS theme, we basically got the same functionality as the iRaspian Windows theme. But it obviously looks a lot different. So if you are used to macOS, you've got your familiar menu bar on the top. So again, we've got our notifications, we've got workspaces, where we can add multiple workspaces. And we've got our catfish file search. We've got our option to log in, log out, suspend and shut down. Obviously the calendar and time, volume settings, and a computer, again with our keyboard and mouse settings, battery status. We've got our network connections, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. And of course, Bluetooth and our CPU management software. Okay, so along the bottom we've got our famous menu system for macOS. We've got trash bar, settings, applications, adding and removing. We've got GIMP, picture editor. We've got LibreOffice. Now it opens up in an Excel type worksheet, but obviously you can change that in-app. We've also got VLC and Parole media players. We've got our image viewer, mousepad, i.e. notepad. And next we've got maps. Now I was very impressed with this app. Now considering this is a Raspberry Pi, the way you're able to zoom in is very smooth. Almost Apple-like, you might say. Okay, again along the bottom, we've got Calendar, we've got Contacts, we've got our Mail app, we've got the Browser, the Web Edition. Now, obviously, we've got the Media version on the desktop here. Now, I've mentioned this before, I'm very impressed with this Launchpad-type icon here. It replicates the Mac OS system to a T, showing all the apps you've got available. So then, guys, when you eventually get fed up of this layout, you can just click back to the Windows layout. And it's basically the same process, just click on the icon, and just follow the instructions, and it will have to reboot to get to your final destination of Windows Raspbian X Edition. Okay, again, it's asking me to confirm reboot. Okay, guys, so what we've got with Twister S is the best of both worlds, and we can switch between either one at the flick of a switch. My congratulations to PyLab and friends. They've made this a slick edition, and I've left links below to PyLab's YouTube channel where you can download this edition. And as always, guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.